Hello and welcome to Wristwatch Obsession. So I came late to the party on the G-Shock range, man. Um, I just realized last year what a great watch it is. Uh, so I bought the regular one, that the, the black one that is currently out. And there's also a blacked out version that's everything's black with no colors whatsoever. Instead of the red and the other colors that's on the regular version. And it's just so darn comfortable. And it's just the way that the case is designed, the back is designed, I think. But of all the large G-Shocks that I have, this is the most comfortable one. And, and since I had an all-black watch, I added a red bezel just for color. But I did, I did want another color version of the range band. Uh, and I guess I look back on a, the historical pages, and they made like 30 different colors. You know, many of them limited editions. And right now, they're just too expensive to buy unless you're a hardcore collector and want those. So I've been waiting for another colorway to come out. And just about a month ago, and I just discovered it a couple of weeks ago, this yellow version came out. So I jumped on it right away. And I had a small discount at a jewelry store, authorized dealer. And uh, so it was a no-brainer, man. I just jumped on it. So here it is. It's the yellow colorway. And uh, it's just uh, spectacular. I really like it a lot. Uh, it's not going to be a full review. We know we all know what the range band does. You know, it's solar and multi-band six. And it has the altimeter, barometer, compass, and... A thermometer in it uh, full functionality just like the squares it has all the alarms and countdown timer and chronograph and dual time backlight you know all those cool things but let's just take a look at the colors on there and it has the typical what I call adventure cat and there's the cat out on adventure and he has his uh, he's probably wearing the range man right there in compass mode so he can see where he's going this is made in Thailand. The fit and finish is just like the other uh, range band. It's just exceptional. Uh, stay tuned another minute because I'm going to run a slideshow of this watch in all different lighting conditions outside in the sun and in the shade and so forth. Uh, but for now, let's just take a look at that. Uh, and let me take a minute to show what comes with the watch because I often forget to show the box and everything. Uh, and it's just a cardboard box, but it has a cool design on there. So yeah, really cool tin it comes with. And it comes with the tag, and here are the details in the watch. And there's the GW9400 Y-1, instead of just dash one, which is the normal one. And they also have a dash one B for the blacked out version. Yeah, so there's the tag. And then it has the warranty card. It comes with uh, using a guide for using the atomic time. And the manual is one of the largest manuals I've ever seen. And I have this marker in here because, you know, it's different languages in here, but each language has 111 pages. So in English, there you go, it's 111 pages, fantastic manual. You don't have to go online, you, you have the manual right in the box, which I really like a lot. The, you know, these range men are like some of the best values for the money. Um, I just like them so much. It has all the functionality. The only thing different from the Mudmaster is it doesn't have the analog hands. But otherwise, it has the same functionality. It's just a fantastic, a fantastic watch. Here we have the uh, Made in Thailand 200 meter water resistance. You know, it's the, the regular, regular stuff. And then the module number there. And if you notice, the back is milled instead of a stamp back. I just love milled backs. I wish I had it more in my G-Shocks. Uh, I think I only have uh, about three uh, instead of the pressed back, you know, the cheaper ones. But this is actually milled, just a gorgeous. And I like when they put things on the back of a watch. That's interesting. Really nice strap, very comfortable strap. You see it twists and it's, uh, it's rugged and soft, but also has the uh, ruggedness of the other resin straps. And uh, it has a metal keeper, just like the other range man, but this one has uh, a blacked out one this one's a coated probably pvd or something on the metal keeper and by the way that little um sub dial there if you notice it has a yellowish tint to it compared to the rest of the lcd and that's different than the regular watches all right so here is my normal version one that already had red accents on it and i added that red bezel um, i think it looks super cool so they have, there they are next to each other i think that's a nice pair but there might be three if another colorway comes out that's a normal price. 
All right, that's it for my quick look at the yellow accented version. Stay tuned for the photos that are coming up next. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for coming to Wristwatch Obsession. We'll catch you next time. Take care.